Hi, my name is Arun. I'm MCT and working as a solutions architect with Rexspace. And this is my uh, YouTube channel. And these are my views. In uh, previous few videos, we talked about the Azure storage account. We created a one. We talked about the performance, account kind. Now, this is the video where we'll be talking about the replications. We know when we choose uh, different uh, performance, we have different options. For example, for standard, we have LRS, ZRS, GRS, which is premium, we have LRS. And moreover, it's, it, it says replication. So we uh, understand they are definitely talking about the redundancy. And in here, they call it locally redundant storage. So let's try to understand this replication. I have created a little mind map here just to understand it better so uh, replication or storage redundancy is uh, provided by uh, azure because it will help you to make your data available <clears throat> and uh, let's dive into it so we have these one, two, three, four, five, six, six kind of redundancies that we have already seen under standard performance. We call it LRS, LRS, ZRS, GRS, RAGRS, GZRS, RAGZRS. Okay. Now we can easily understand GRS, RAGRS, GZRS, and RA. GZRS because both seems the same, only R is there, that means read access. So we'll jump in here a little later. Let's try to understand first LRS. LRS means locally redundant storage. That simply means in order to make the storage object redundant, Azure or Microsoft keeps three copies of the data inside a single physical location as you can see here single physical location or a data center and when these when microsoft replicates the data it would be a synchronous replication okay it would be a synchronous replication a right request to a storage account that is using lrs is synchronous that's what it means and it is a lowest cost cost redundancy option. If a data center downs, your data is lost or unrecoverable. Okay. Well, uh, if your app stores data that can be easily reconstructed, or if data loss occurs, you may opt for LRS. Or uh, if your application is restricted to replicating data only within a country or region, due to data governance requirement, you can opt for LRS. So basically this is a cheap option for the redundancy, but as it's cheap or low cost, so is the low cost redundancy. Okay, now let's try to understand these uh, as, as a geographic means, what it means. This will help us to understand this uh, redundancy. Well, let's suppose this is region one and this is region two. Okay, region one and region two. Okay, let me choose the option as black region two. Okay, now inside a region one, there are, there could be multiple zones, more than two, it could be three or four. But I'm taking an example of zone one and zone two. Similarly in region two, we have zone one, we have zone two. Now inside a zone, we could have uh, multiple data centers. For example, in zone one, we have DC one and DC two. Similarly in zone two and under zone one and zone two of region two. Now, if we are talking about LRS, let's say we, if we talk about LRS means locally redundant, that means all these three copies are inside this data center. 
right here one two three inside the data center data center is a huge physical structure where they have different racks which is separated by uh, the connective network connectivity or the electricity or the ac or those kind of things which is required to run the data center so it could be it could uh, it could possible because it could it could possibly one of the rack is down but the data center is still alive and active that's why these three are separate to each other with with different electricity different uh, different services which is required to run the data center let's put it this way okay so hope this is clear inside a region we have multiple zone inside a zone we have multiple data center inside the inside the multiple <laughs> inside the data center out of multiple one of the physical location microsoft puts three copies that's what the lrs means now just expand this that becomes zrs zrs is zone redundant that means one copy in each each zone okay now similarly and and yes because uh zone is connected through a high speed internet so the data flow is also synchronous and in case of lrs if dc like the data center goes down the data is lost as we talked about but here it will not look it you will not lose your data because it would be available in a different uh, zone right now zrs provides uh, excellent performance low latency and resiliency for your data if it becomes temporarily unavailable however uh, zrs or zrs by itself may not protect your data against a regional disaster just like lrs would not protect your data against a data center outage okay all right and uh, microsoft always recommends using zrs instead of lrs because it provides uh, more availability inside the same region right now let's expand this understanding on the global redundancy global redundancy GRS or globally redundant storage would have three uh, copies in one region and three copies in another region. But it is GRS that means three copies just like LRS in one region, three copies just like LRS in another region. And inside the same region, it is always a synchronous replication. And in a different region it would be asynchronous that means in case region one goes down and you go with the region two it's asynchronous replication so you might lose some data okay now in some situation or some scenarios you would like to have the read access of your data on a secondary region then you can go for ragrs that means read access globally redundant storage in that in that uh, grs and rgs uh, uh, options you also have the capability to manually fail over your storage account from one region to another we have already i have already covered this in a different video if you look at my channel you'll figure it out uh, and uh, since i'm covering the storage account and i'll i'll try to cover that in future as well so just expand the zrs understanding on a global level just like grs we have three times zrs zrs uh, which is synchronous replication between the zones uh, plus three times LRS that would be asynchronous on a different region. And if you have the read access on a secondary region, then it would become RA, Z, 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 R, S. And global uh, redundancy is always expensive than local or zonal. And if you want R, G, R, A, Z, Z, R, S, that would be the most expensive. So basically, this is these are the different uh, replication of the storage redundancy options that we have, and as per our need or requirement, or we we need to choose these uh, redundancies. If you're not sure, go with the ZRS. If your uh, data should be uh, globally available, then you can go with the GRS. It all depends the kind of uh, requirement you have as per this video we just need to understand the concept of redundancy and i think uh 
we are good now. Thank you for watching. You have a good day.